thing to do is to go to your project on your machine. And if you don't have your project on your machine, you can just clone it from GitHub. And in case you don't know how to clone a project from GitHub, I have a link in the description explaining how to do that. After that, we are going to copy and paste these three commands in the terminal. And before we go ahead and do that, notice here that there is no any CSR file. When it's generated, it will be created somewhere here. So let's go ahead and copy the commands. The first command is this one. I'm going to copy and paste it. And the commands will be available in the description. So you can just copy and paste them from there. Press enter. It, uh, it will ask you to create a password. Create a password and make sure that it has a minimum of four characters. So I'll create mine. And uh, another thing to notice is that when you're typing, nothing will be displayed here. So just click enter after typing. Then repeat the same password. Click enter. After that, come and run this second command. Then it will ask you for a password. It's the same password that you created up here. So provide that password. Press enter. Now it will create this. That command will create this private server key for you. The last thing now is to generate the CSR. So we are going to run this last command. Paste, enter. Then it will ask you for your two for your country name to letter code. I have a link here which will also be available in the description. Come here and check your country. If your country is Kiribati, your country code is KI. Mine is Kenya, so my country code is KE. So I'm going to provide KE here. Press enter. State I'll provide Nairobi. Locality name, Nairobi, or the city, it's Nairobi. Organization name, if you don't provide um, what they're asking, you can just press enter, leave it blank. Organization unit name, if you want, you can provide. If you don't want, just press enter. Common name, here it's very important. Here is where you provide your domain. So mine is alfigashiru.com. Press enter. Email address, provide the email address. Press enter. A challenge password. Leave it blank. So press enter. Optional company name, I'll leave mine blank. And that's it. Now notice we have a server.csr file. And when you click on it, this is our CSR code. And that's how you create a CSR in Heroku. Now, if this video has been of any benefit to you, kindly support my work by liking this video, subscribing, and leaving a comment.